Well, the red hot summer housing market is starting to cool down just a little bit as we head into the fall and joining us live this morning with more is Robert McCarter with Remax. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So what, what does that mean? Does that mean houses are selling in, in days now instead of hours? In days, exactly. Yeah, so some of that buyer fatigue that they've been experiencing earlier in the spring and summer have definitely has started to wane a little bit. Buyers are are now having some time to to kind of mull over the offer itself and to uh, to make an offer that they would like to actually put in on that property. Yes, but sellers, it is still a seller's market. Absolutely. So the inventory levels are continuing to trend upward and uh, and we're going to see that through uh, the remaining of the year. Absolutely. So what do you think is accounting for this little bit of a break? Because, you know, houses literally were selling within hours of coming on the market. Exactly. So in this quarter right now, as we're going into, you know, the fall months into even the winter, the major metro areas across our region right now are showing signs of what we consider seasonal behavior. And this has happened now for the second consecutive month. Uh, so that's something that everyone needs to keep in mind. So uh, between that and you know, our strengthening economy right now, I know you've probably seen some of the economic numbers that have come out. Uh, we're seeing some job reports numbers that have come out that have uh, trended upward as well for the professional service sector. Um, that has really helped our buyers out uh, with wanting to put in uh, offers on properties and just kind of securing their mindset when it comes to, to moving forward with that. And, as, and there's several other factors as well. Well, when it comes to housing prices, are you expecting them to continue to increase in value? Or are you seeing the pri housing prices start to go back down again? What's happening? So I don't expect them to go down. They are definitely going to trend upwards. It's just going to be at a little bit slower pace is what we're going to see right now. And we're, at, we're actually seeing it at, at, at this point. What we're not seeing right now is that is buyers having to come in at 10, 15, 20, 30 thousand dollars over list price right. uh, and and uh, make up that appraisal gap in order to find the home of their dreams. Well, that's certainly good news for buyers for sure. So what types of tips do you have for buyers and sellers right now? So right now, if you're a buyer, please align yourself with a real estate professional that is going to to really walk you through the process that knows the market, that knows your area, um, that can really help you formulate an offer that is going to uh, really be on your side, where, where it more so it's in the earlier spring and summer, it's been more of benefiting the seller. So you definitely want to just be patient in this market. You are going to find the home of your dreams, but let's put together a real strong offer for you. Um, that is going to be acceptable to the seller, but also ex terms that are acceptable for you as well. For the sellers, listen, you're you're still in the driver's seat. Uh, you know, this is this market definitely has not changed. Um, so, like I said, inventory levels, you know, they are continuing to trend upward. Uh, it's still in your favor. However, you know, don't think that you're going to price your property twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars over list. You're going to have to rein that in. It's the property still needs to appraise. Be patient. Don't get upset if you don't get 20 offers in the first few hours of the property being listed. Your property will definitely sell. Our pending home sales are, are proving that. It may take a few days, but the buyers are definitely out there and they're definitely excited to look for your home. And can we talk about the home inspection for a second? Because over the yes. summer, I, I had heard anecdotally that there were some buyers who were so desperate to get the home that they were waiving the home inspection. And then there can be some real horror stories when you do that. What are you finding? So what we're finding in the spring and summer is number one, as a real estate professional, I've never advised to our buyers to waive the home inspection, especially our first time home buyers. Um, you know, we definitely encourage you to get a home inspection. We want you to know any any issues that are, are going on with that uh, that property that you are going to be obviously obligated to 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 repair. Um, but unfortunately, you know, with a lot of buyers, they just felt so desperate in order to to buy that one property that's within the a, a, an eight mile radius uh, that they had to put their best foot forward and waive that inspection. Um, so what I would say at this point is that you know, please, uh, you know, take the advice of your real estate professional, uh, communicate with that listing agent, find out if there's other offers on the table. If they're not, if there's maybe just one or two, do not, there's ways that you could still buy that property as is and still keep that home inspection uh, in your back pocket. Um, so you can at least find out the condition of that property before you move towards that settlement table. All right, great advice. Thanks for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it. 
Thank you for having me on this beautiful Baltimore morning. You are welcome and amen to that. It is a great